This is Twit. Google is buying DeepMind, an artificial intelligence company for an unknown amount of money that may exceed actually $500 million. At the insistence of DeepMind, Google's agreed to set up an ethics board to make sure that the artificial intelligence is used for good instead of evil, according to reports. Joining us to talk about DeepMind is Liz Gaines, Senior Editor for Technology Trends and Innovation at Recode, and she broke the story about Google's acquisition of DeepMind. Thanks for joining us, Liz. Sure. Hey. What is DeepMind and what do they do? So DeepMind is a company that I have to be honest, I didn't know about. Uh, it sounds like they were pretty important in the AI world, though, and that's an increasingly important space to know about, and obviously as far as acquisitions go. Um, they were based in London. They had a ton of AI, 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 artificial intelligence researchers on board, and they were developing applications around e-commerce and gaming and something around images. Um, so it's all very um, fuzzy uh, because they hadn't released any products yet. I mean, Google's a huge company. Obviously, this is something that they're interested in getting into uh, as far as just this, this area of technology. Did Google not have their own internal arm that would be something like DeepMind? Google has Google is basically an AI company. I mean, from search to self-driving cars, you need artificial intelligence. Um, what I heard about DeepMind is that they were one of the only companies that was successful in hiring folks against uh, Google. They had a really strong team, and their recruiting word went pretty far in uh, in in that field, uh, which is a pretty small field. Do you think this was an aqua hire, or are they going to let a DeepMind continue to do what they've been doing, which? Um, I don't believe involves an actual product. It involves a lot of technology development, but will they be kept as a group and allowed to continue as DeepMind or are they just going to be shuffled into the Google artificial intelligence operation? Well, for one thing, I mean, deep, all these folks are based in London. <clears throat> so uh, I don't think that they're they're going to move the whole group of them to Mountain View. I'll, I'll probably learn more about that today, but I would correct um, a little bit of what you just said, which is that as I understand it, the company had um, a, a big research division with a whole bunch of PhDs, but they were actually developing some products. Um, but those products were not released yet, so I imagine they're the kind of things that could be reworked. Uh, one specifically, just because we're, we're talking at so high level about this, was a better product recommendation system, similar to what Amazon would do, that would be a lot smarter about what you might want to shop for. Um, imagine you know, a robot who, understand it, who understood everything you wanted and everything you thought about. Um, at least as far as Google could get access to that information, they would have a better idea of what you want to buy. You could imagine how that theoretically and practically, uh, however far they've gotten on the product, would be useful to Google. Now, as you uh, tear away at the at the surface of this story and look at some of the details, they're pretty fascinating. For example, the company was founded by Demis Hassabis, I believe is how you pronounce that, who was a child chess prodigy and was the number two chess player in the world when he was 13, for 14 years old and under. Uh, there are also other interesting things. For example, their technology has been demonstrated uh, learning to play an Atari game. So this is learning technology, essentially learns instead of just being programmed. Learn to play Atari and then became very good at it quickly. Uh, and this ability to play games uh, has been demonstrated. Is this some, you know, how do you apply something like that to anything Google might do? Well, I think that they, they yeah, they sound like total badass brains. I also... Uh, Learned uh, last night that this guy Demis Hassel has was uh, is one of the world's only two grandmasters at Settlers of Catan. So um, I <laughs> I kind of want to go up against him, though I think I might lose as quickly as Bill Gates lost that round of chess this past weekend, right? Or faster? Definitely not as smart as Bill Gates. Um, but uh, I mean, I, I think that Google needs to get smarter and better at understanding us. The fun, the scary thing is that I think they're already starting to be, they're already one of the best in the world at that. Um, so now they're basically applying, um, I don't know exactly how many people are at this company. I know it was at least 50 people. Um, I think there's a little bit of confusion um, from the folks I talked to just because they had a lot of academic folks who may have worked uh, part-time at DeepMind in addition to their academic appointments. But this is a whole bunch of brains, including one of the world's grandmasters of Cellular Catan and one of the best child press chess prodigies prodigies when he was a child, uh, now getting on board to try to make Google smarter. Do you I think that's the largest significance. Do you think an ethics board to make sure that this technology is not used for evil is necessary? So that's been a funny one. Um, I have been reporting that out this morning and late last night. And um, 
You know, I think this is a little bit of a snippy space as far as I can tell. Um, everyone thinks everyone else is mumbo jumbo and full of crap um, because they have different solutions, but essentially no one has made a, a, a machine that can actually act like a human. Um, everyone's trying to get towards that point, but is upset about other people who make claims about how they're closer to that than reality because no one has actually done it yet. Um, so I had a couple sources saying that they thought this idea of an ethics board was pure hubris. Um, I don't know though. I think, I, like I said, I think these are smart folks. I think they um, probably know have something about what's going on, but the idea that you would have to uh, be concerned about a, hum a computer acting too much like a human in the near term future is something that even people in the space are not quite sure about yet. So someone in our chat room named Tommy Flowers said that DeepMind owns the patent for reverse image search that Google already uses. Do you have any uh, information on that? I don't know. I didn't know that, that they're licensing a patent. I'm not sure that information will be public, but if, um, if he has a link, I'd love to look into it. Uh, and we'll look into it as well. Now, uh, I understand also that uh, Google was in competition with Facebook to acquire this company and that Larry Page personally intervened. Uh, how long has this been going on and, and who else might have been involved? Uh, the story that I have heard is that Facebook was quite interested in this company, especially towards the end of last year. But and I'm sure all options were on the table, but more specifically, I uh, learned from people who are close to those at DeepMind that Facebook was looking at something that was much more of an aqua hire. In fact, it might have just been trying to pluck employees out of DeepMind while DeepMind stayed intact. And DeepMind was able to kind of hang on to those employees for the meantime. But then when everyone got an offer to join Google, that that proved to be more convincing. Mm, that's fascinating. And, and uh, Joe M. from the chat room points out the, uh, the, the big fear, which is that when you apply DeepMind intelligence and learning with Google's terrifying robots acquired through Boston Dynamics, you get something very Skynet-like. And uh, I wonder if uh, that will dominate the conversation about all of this. Well, Liz, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks. I think that's absolutely where this is going is to a very um, crazy sci-fi place. Uh, and we'll see how fast it comes. Well, thanks again. You can find Liz at Recode and also on Twitter at Liz Gaines.